All right, when we solve a system of equations by graphing, uh, it's important to put as many points on the graph as you can because uh, it's got to intersect at one of those points, okay, the two lines. And in addition to that, uh, since that's the case, we will need the slope. Uh, and so we're going to want to write these in slope-intercept form. So if we want to change this first equation, we would subtract x from both sides. That will give us a negative y equals negative x plus 2. Finally, we'd divide everywhere by that is a negative 1. And we'd get y equals x minus 2 now. So I'll graph this equation in purple since that's the color I'm using here. So to graph that, we'll start at the y-intercept, which is at negative 2. And then we have a slope of 1, so we'll go up 1. That's our next point, and we'll continue this pattern along the graph. So that would be our staircase. And the next thing, of course, that we would want is the line, uh, which would look something like this. Okay. Uh, now the next thing we're going to want to do is to graph this line as well. But first we'll change that into slope-intercept form as well. What we'll do is subtract an x from both sides. So that gives us a 3y equals negative x plus 6. Then we'll divide by 3 everywhere, which gives us y equals negative 1 third x plus 2, because there was the phantom one there. So now that we have that equation, let's go ahead and start graphing that. And of course, we'll start at the y-intercept at 2 right there. And our slope is down 1 and to the right 3, which has already intersected that line. So uh, we could continue this pattern, which sometimes you'll have to do. So I'm just drawing the staircase again. As you can see here, from this point we would make the line, which may look something like this. And we can see the point of intersection is right here, okay? Uh, so what is the coordinates of that point? We can see that it, the x value is 3, and the y value is 1, and that right there is our answer. The next thing you'd want to do, kind of like we did in the last couple problems, is to check and make sure that this gives us a true statement for both equations. That is a good way to check your answer here. So uh, we still have minus equals 2. And we'll try 3 and 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So it checks on the purple equation. Now let's try the red one now. So x is 3, y is 1, so we have 3 plus 3 is 6, and 6 does equal 6 here. So as it turns out, the actual solution uh, to this system, we were correct, it's 3, 1.